Danny Flexen here for seconds out with Keevan Agyarko. I hope I pronounced that correctly. Soon to be debuting middleweight, amateur star, and his trainer, Alan Smith. The trainer also of, I'm doing good. The trainer also of Johnny Garton, uh, Bradley Skeet, among others, down in Bromley, Ibox. Just first of all, tell us, Alan, maybe you first, tell us how you two got together, how this linked up. Yeah, uh, he was a friend of Lerone Richard, who's with us, the WBO Super Middleweight European Champion. And uh, he was looking for a trainer. Uh, he come over, spent some time with us when I was met him, and then he chose us, which is great. You know, I think he's a fantastic addition. He was an, an amateur star, so to join us is, you know, it's a privilege and vice versa. Kevin, you tell me what attracted you to the Ibox gym and to Alan Smith? Um, I was friends with Lerone, met Lerone over the PlayStation playing Fortnite. Lerone uh, set up a meeting with Al for me. Al was coming over to do Johnny Coyle's uh, corner in Belfast. Had a meeting with Al, come over. Stayed for two weeks and then just from the first couple of days, I just knew that I didn't have to look elsewhere. Al's a great coach, technically good, um, good at managing his fighters and himself and everyone in the gym made me feel welcome so it was an easy decision for me. Just give us a rundown of your amateur achievements and, and your amateur record if you don't mind. Um, I had over 130, 40 fights, uh, had about 90 to 100 in Ireland, only lost 11 times. Won six national titles, fought for the WSB, uh, fought for um, Ireland at the World and European. So even though I'm only 21, I had a, a lot of experience in the amateurs. Is that all? <laughs> Al, from the six weeks that you guys have spent together so far, do you know which areas you'll be looking to improve or to change more into a pro style with Keevans? I think he's already got a pro style. I think he's uh, been a WSB fighter, gives you that advantage. Him starting on six rounds, his confidence wanting to start on six, where I usually mother kids, uh, gives me a confidence in each other. But I just think he's just a little bit of defense. He's an attacking fighter. So I need to make sure that he does an even balance of defense and attacking. That's what we've been working on. And what weight are you going to be competing at as a pro? Middle whip. Do you think, looking at your stature, you seem quite trim for a middleweight. Do you think that can be an advantage as well as obviously you're not going to be as rangy as some of them? Um, yeah, I'm, I'm a small, small enough middleweight. I'm 5'11", 5'11", or yeah, 5'11". Um, but I don't think being this small will, I think it benefits me. Um, being small middleweight, uh, I'm a fighter I can go back and forth, say to say to have a bit of everything. I'm, I'm, I have fast hands and I punch hard enough, so uh, yeah, I don't think fighting rangy people will. I've fought them my whole life, so uh, I'm used to it. Who will be Keevan's main sparring partners in the eye box? And it'd be Lerone Richards, because Lerone is obviously seriously talented, a little bit bigger. But he's been sparring with Bradley Skeet, we've been taking him out of the gym. And in our gym, everyone mixes. He's even had to mix him with Jake Petit, our little bantamweight. So for me, you've got to learn that. You know, Brendan Ingle, a lot of them gyms do that. So for us, he's been taking around. Well, we've only had six weeks together, so we're trying to, you know, obviously learn each other's different attributes so he's just been sparring everyone in the gym and he's such an accomplished amateur with a, coming from a great you know holy trinity boxing club he's been well schooled so it makes my job and eddie lamb job a lot easier Kevin, are you looking forward to your pro debut and is there anything about it that you're worried about or that's different from the amateurs no not at all i'm i'm, I'm looking forward i can't wait um obviously it's a it's a step forward for me and it's my first first fight so uh I can't wait. I don't think there's any. I've fought in the WSB. I've always had a, the pro stand, and um, I don't think there's anything I need to worry about. Especially training with Al, he's a great coach technically, and that's why it made an easy decision for me because I could have went with anybody and not learned. But in, in I box gym, I'm learning each day. So anything that I'm doing wrong or uh, or anything like that, there Al tells me, and I think that's where it benefit me when I'm fighting because I have someone in the corner that can say right. You did this wrong in that round, or let's try this. So um, I don't, I'm not worried about anything because I have a good team around me, and I know how good I am. So I think on the night everything will come together, and uh, I'm hoping to put on a good performance. And just finally, what's your living situation while you're over here? Where are you staying? Who are you staying with? How's all that working out? <laughs> Al's back garden, yeah. Um, I'm originally from Croydon, so I was born here, lived here until I was seven. Moved to Belfast, that's where my mum's from. Um, but my dad lives here, so I'm staying with my dad. So it's, it's not like I'm a thousand miles away from home, it's an hour away from Belfast and I've cousins here and friends here and uh, my dad's here so it's just like home for me.